the MacBook Air versus MacBook Pro in gaming. There is a difference. The MacBook Air comes with 7 GPU cores. And if you have a look at Geekbench, you can see that there is a difference between 7 and 8 cores. It works out pretty much 1 8 faster for the MacBook Pro. It has 8 cores versus 7. Also, you need to remember the MacBook Pro has a fan too, so it can go harder for longer. So we're going to see the difference in gaming. We're also going to see the difference in GPU performance, as you can see here. Now have a look at this. You can see the two here, right? This is the exact same project, actually, the video I made yesterday. And what you'll see here on the right is the MacBook Air, and it renders faster. Woof, there you go. Renders faster, popped up there, it's already rendered, and the same project started at the same time. I have no idea why, but the MacBook Pro took longer. And I tested this again, and then the other time it was the MacBook Pro that was faster, and then the other time it was virtually the same. And then I had the same thing happen again where the air was faster. So, yep, I don't know. All right, so we are recording with the MacBook Air using the internal microphones of that. Someone asked me, how are the internal microphones on the MacBook Air compared to the MacBook Pro? Well, look at my last video that was done with the MacBook Pro. This is the MacBook Air. Tell the difference between the sound here. So anyway... Gaming, let's have a look here. We want to play, of course, Among Us. So let's just search for Among Us. You can play iOS apps. No, nothing there, right? Well, have a look at this tab right here. Right there. We click on that tab and wolf. There we go, Among Us. The hottest game at the moment, you can play it on your Mac now. And this is how you search for any iOS app. Unfortunately, not every iOS app is there. Let's open this and... Yeah, it runs well. The only thing is I can't go full screen or anything like that. I'll just turn the sound down. I've just started up a game there, and you can see in there, in the settings, there's not much you can do. You can change it to touch. Obviously, you can't use touch on a Mac or the joystick there. Uh, you can't resize it, and the good thing is all these games hopefully will be coming from iOS, and mobile gaming is enormous. And even stuff like Instagram and stuff like that, well, you don't have it now, but hopefully you'll get it in the future, TikTok and stuff like that. And look, I tried to click and drag it there. No, that's not what you do. This joystick here is basically like your thumb. So you can't resize it. I'm trying to resize it. No, there's no way to resize it. But, you know, it's pretty cool that you can play iOS games and especially Among Us, which everybody wants to play. And it's just as easy as just going into that app store there, searching for it to see if it's there because the developer actually has to okay whether you can use it on your mac or not some developers have some developers haven't but you've got to make sure you swap over that tab there if you're just looking under mac apps you're not going to find it you have to look at iphone and ipad apps okay and then you'll find some games and there are some other games there's no PUBG. uh call of duty is call of duty there let's have a look call of duty code of war strike no not really um, what do we got? PUBG. No PUBG. Oh, we got robots though. That's pretty cool. I like that one. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's iOS gaming. You know how to do it now. Have a look if your favourite game's there from your know, iPad or iPhones. Oh, if we have a look here at the arcade games tab, all these arcade games, which is Apple Arcade, you pay $5 a month, you can play them on your Mac. How awesome is that? And one person asked me, should I get 16 gig MacBook Air or should I get 8 gig MacBook Pro? 16 gig MacBook Air. That is the way to go if that's your choice. Anyway, let's get into the other gaming. All right, one more bonus thing for you. PS5 controller and Xbox Series X controller will work with both of these Macs. And all you do is you put them in the pairing mode and then go to Bluetooth settings and woof, you're ready to go. So how cool is that? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, let's talk about the difference in gaming between these two, the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. Of course, on the MacBook Air, you can get the 8-core GPU version as well if you go one model up. But I suspect a lot of people will be going for the base model 8 gigs. These are both base model 8 gigs, so let's do it. So there is a difference between the two. When I play for a long period of time, I can hear the fan on the MacBook Pro. So it'll go harder for longer. But the downside of that is fan noise, and of course it has that extra GPU. But with Mac OS, it's hard to do benchmarks. There isn't really any benchmark tools. Ash from Head of Estates, come on, 
Let's make a benchmarking tool for the Mac, a gaming benchmarking tool. That'll be awesome. But I can tell you on the most part, I couldn't tell the difference between the two gaming, except on the MacBook Air, it was silent and it was bliss. Not that the MacBook Pro was loud, but I do appreciate silence given that I'm half deaf from reviewing all these gaming laptops. So the biggest difference I had was playing Fortnite, as you can see here. Now, I was playing at full native resolution, high settings, around 40 FPS, 38 to 40 FPS with the MacBook Pro. So that's high settings, max resolution 2560 by 1600. With the MacBook Air, same settings. It was hovering around the 32 to 34, sometimes would dip below 28 frames per second. So there was a good up to, you know, five frames per second difference sometimes a little bit more. Now that's not just the GPU core as I've said before, it is also the MacBook Pro has the fan, but there is a difference. I can feel the difference there. But if you go and lower the resolutions and maybe lower the settings to, you know, medium and get around 1080p, it would be very hard to tell the difference. Yeah, you could benchmark it. I could tell the difference at the highest resolution, but once I stepped down the resolutions, I couldn't really tell the difference. Now, do sex mankind divided. This is where I can compare it to the 11th gen Intel's and AMD's 4800U and the Radeon GPU on that and the XE graphics on the Intel. I've reviewed so many gaming laptops and I use this game in my benchmark so I know it off by heart. What I can tell you is both of these Macs absolutely destroy Intel XE and the Radeon graphics. You cannot even play 30 frames per second 720p low with those PC systems. I'm not telling you it's a great performance on these two Macs either but at maximum resolution I was still getting in the 20 frames per second at high and even if I lowered it around the 1080p mark which of course is 16 by 10 so you can't get exactly 1080p I was able to get over 30 fps nearing the 40 fps if you set it to the same settings as what you would have to do with the integrated graphics on the pcs so around 720p low settings you'll get a smooth 60 fps so it's like night and day difference and this is another game I could actually tell the difference between the pro and the air it was just that extra few frames per second fast on the pro now if we go to minecraft someone tell me how i hatched the ender dragon eggs oh that's what my son calls them. i don't know did i name it right the dragon eggs i want to hatch them how do i do it but anyway minecraft java runs super silky smooth on both i cannot tell the difference between them and the fan actually didn't even come on in the macbook pro either so yeah i can literally not tell the difference i can't see the fps up there so it's good in one way that i just can't tell the difference that's all you need to know so now when it comes to league of legends i played maximum resolution high settings okay and it was nice and smooth on both of them. I could not tell the difference. There's no FPS counter here, but I can't tell the difference. And even when there was a little bit of action, and yes, I did try to heal the enemies because I have no idea how to play this game, but I could not tell the difference. And it's amazing that I can play at max resolution at high settings and there's no slowdowns it looks amazing it really looks sharp it looks detailed colorful and gaming league of legends on this is going to be no problem and i could not tell the difference between the two so now let's play rocket league and i cranked it up to max resolution high settings it wouldn't let me go to the screen resolution of the display for some reason but i set it to the maximum settings it would allow me and high settings and wolf you're getting your constant 60 fps pretty much on both of these systems yes i could tell that the pro was just that little bit faster in fps by looking at it but playing the game i couldn't tell the difference so now you can play rocket league so when it comes down to it it is absolutely bliss gaming on the MacBook Air. Silent, you get good performance. I mean, these games aren't even running native. All right, some of them are running metal, so that's a bit native. But you can imagine once the games are native, you're going to get better performance. It runs rings around the integrated graphics from the PCs. Oh, sad to say it, but it does. And on the most part, you won't be able to tell the difference. I think once you get to the higher resolutions and more demanding titles, you will see the difference. As I saw in Fortnite, once I cranked it up to the max resolution high settings, the MacBook Pro was, you know, a good 5 FPS faster. But if you're starting the game at around the 1080p sort of medium settings, you won't tell the difference between them, except the air is silence. So, great gaming performance on both. I can't wait until they get some more native games. It's so cool you can play Among Us and iPhone and iPad games on this as well. Look, don't sweat it. You don't have to order the extra core, really. The base model there is pretty good. So anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.